ओम सहना सहनो भुनक्त सह धर्मास्ते मई सन्तु ते मई सन्तु ओम शांति 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 श्रुति स्मृति पुराणानाम आलयं करुणालयं नमामि भगवत पादं शंकरं लोक शंकरं शंकरं शंकराचार्यं केशवं बादरायणं शक्रतो वन्दे भगवन्तो पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेदि मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवत्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमक्षरमुदीतमुपीत ओमतिदाते तस्ोपव्या भूमा संप्रसाद पूर्वपक्षी कंक्लूडेड तस्मा प्राणो भूम प्राप्त प्राण इज भूम एवं प्राप्त वेरियस रीजन बीन गिवन टू कंक्लूड वाय प्राण इज परमात्मा मीनिंग दैट दिस इज वॉट दिस पर्टिक्युलर चैप्टर कन्वेज दैट प्राण इज परमात्मा वेरियस रीजन आर गिवन नंबर वन भूय प्रश्न प्रतिवचन परंपरा दर्शना First of all, we find that there is Bhuya Prashna. Sage Narada kept on asking questions about the superiority. Astin bhago naam na bhuye di. O venerable sir, is something greater than nama? Yes. Vagvav naam na bhuye si. Vagvav na speech is greater than name. And then, is there something greater than vag? Manaha. So the Puru Pakshi says that this sequence of questions and answers stopped with prana. There, says Narada, did not ask <coughs> asti vava. So asti bhagava prana se bhuye hai thi is something greater than prana also. <coughs> then, then the answer should have been given there. So yes, astivava prana se bhuye prana bhuye hai. So yes, 
So this is something greater than prana. Ado vava prana dhuvayati. This is something is greater than prana. If there was something greater than prana, then this sequence of questions and answers should have continued. But that sequence ended there, which means that according to Sage Narada, as well as according to Upanishad also, there is nothing greater than prana. So prana is the greatest, is Paramatma. Secondly, the prana is stated as greater than everything being from Nama all the way up to Asha. And then it is said further also that Ativadi Asi Itvam. And so it was said there that Eshatuva Ativadati. No. Ah, yes. Evam Vijanan Ativadi Bhavati. Evam Vijanan Ativadi Bhavati. Knowing Prana as the self of all. Knowing Prana as a very low substratum of the entire universe upon which the universe of names and forms is superimposed, like the spokes of a wheel are fixed on a hub, so also the entire universe is fixed on Prana. So Prana is that which gives the motivation existing through the entire universe. So that way, so Prana therefore is the greater than anything else. <coughs> And then also it is said that so yeah, evam so evam evam manvana evam manvana evam vijanan ativadi bhavati knowing this prana as such one becomes ativadi one transcends everything in the speech meaning that one comes to this conviction that prana is the self of all I am prana I am the self of all <coughs> so ativadi to also is a linger is also a chin or an indication or evidence that prana is the greatest. <coughs> Second, thirdly then, eshatuva ativadati ha satyena ativadati. Then the teacher continues. So this one is called ativadi one, becomes ativadi meaning transcender of speech, meaning one who transcends everything in speech, Meaning that one knows oneself as Satyam or Prana, as the self of all, as the greatest as Paramatma. Yes, Satyena Ativadati. So he is called Ativadi, that the one who transcends the speech by virtue of knowledge of Satyam. <coughs> so then the Purupakshi said that this Prana Vratam Ativaditam Anukrushya. So the Purupakshi says Ativaditvam that was stated in case of Prana. The same Ativaditvam that is stated in case of Satyam also. Therefore Prana is Satyam because Ativaditvam is the same. Now the same word is used Ativadi Bhavati. For knower of Prana also, teacher said he becomes Ativadi who knows Prana. In case of Satyam also, the teacher said, he becomes Ativadi by virtue of knowledge of Satyam. So Ativaditvam is the same. Ativaditvam is not distinguished. Prana is Satyam. <coughs> so Prana Vratam Ativaditvam Anukrishya referring to the same Ativaditvam. Aparityajya Eva Pranam doesn't say that Satyam is different from Prana. Because there is no question as a as something greater than prana, no? So what follows is only discussion about prana, so satyam is prana. Satyadi paramparaya bhumanam avatarayan Then by the whole parampara, so vijanati, then satya vijnanam, mananam, shraddha, nishtha, Kruti, Sukham, Bhuma. And so 
satyadi paramparaya bhumanam avatarayan. That's how bhuma has been introduced. So then satyam is same as bhuma. So prana is satyam, satyam is bhuma, so prana is bhuma, so prana is paramatma. All right. Then we ask the question, if prana is bhuma, then bhuma is not only the knower of bhuma is ativari, bhuma also has several other lakshana, the characteristics. One lakshana is that yatra nanyat pashyadi, nanyat vijana, nanyat shrimati, nanyat vijana, the sabhuma. Bhuma is that where one does not see anything else, it's a state of non-duality. So if prana is bhuma, then how do you explain that one does not see anything, one does not hear anything? So in a very amazing way, the Puru Pakshi says, this also can apply to prana. So avastha vishesham ashritya. Look, in the state of deep sleep, there is no, and so Prashna Upanishad also says, na shranoti, na pashyati. State of deep sleep, one does not see anything, does not hear anything, does not know anything. At that time, all the action activities or all the organs are completely merged into ignorance or into prana. Deep sleep state, prana alone is awake. So deep sleep state is essentially predominated by prana. In that state, there is no seeing, no hearing. No knowing. So that not seeing anything else, not hearing also can apply to prana. So prana can be uh, bhuma. What about other characteristic? Yo vai bhuma tat sukham. So that is bhuma is sukham also. How is prana sukham? So atreesha deva svapnan pashyati. Atayat etasmin sharira sukham bhavati. Again, same Prashna opening that says that in the state of deep sleep, one does not see the dreams. At that time, this happiness happens. So, prana again is the soul with happiness. How about the third characteristic? Yo vai bhuma tadamrutam nalpe so yan nalpam tan martyam. So, bhuma is immortal. Whatever is limited is mortal. So prana is limited, how do you say it is amrutam? Prana va amrutam, in Kaushika Upanishad, it is said that prana is immortal. So all the characteristics of Bhuma, which are stated by the teacher, all of them are made to apply also to prana. All right. So with reference to prana, this is what they call avantara, you know, so, Prakaranam. But this Maha Prakaranam. So, as far as the introduction of the whole chapter is concerned, Sage Narada approaches Sage Sanat Kumara and says, Tardishoka Mahatma Vid, I have heard from Sage Sivatam Hevame, Bhagavad Rishabhya, I have heard from venerable sages like you that the knower of the self crosses the grief. Soham Bhagavad Shuchami. And I am grieving. Tanma Bhagavan, Shoka Separam Tarayatu. The venerable sir may please make me cross the ocean of grief. Which means that Sage Narada expressed the desire to know the self, no Atma. So, therefore, our question is the main topic is Atma. And so, how do you explain that Prana is Atma? Says so that also is okay. Prano he pita, Prano mata, Prano brada. So Prano alone is father and mother and brother and sister and teacher and Brahman and he is self of all. Yathava ara navo samar pita haivam etasmin prane saram samar pita Just as the spokes are fixed on a hub, so also the entire universe also is fixed on prana. Never Sarvatmatva Aranavi Nidashanabhyamcha Sambhavati. Therefore, if Bhuma is the self of all, 
and Bhuma is the substrate of the universe, so so is Prana. Therefore, the Bhumatam, the abundance that applies to Bhuma also applies to Prana. And therefore, Tasmat Prana Bhuma iti evam praiti. So, Puru Pakshi concluded that Tasmat Prana Bhuma, Prana alone is Bhuma. Iti. Then, evam praptam is the Siddhanta. Puru Paksham Anudya Siddhanta. Reiterating evam in this manner is the reiteration of Puru Paksham. Even prapta. Then, <clears throat> so we continue on the page 213. Tataha ida muchade. Then Siddhanti says, So, Bhuma, Samprasadat, Adi Upadeshat. So, what is Bhuma? So, first of all, the Pratignam Vyakarodi. Bhuma is the Pratignam. Bhuma is Paramatma, is the Pratignam. So, Paramatma eva bhuma bhavidum arhati. Here, Paramatma alone is bhuma, not prana. Prana, prana is not Paramatma, bhuma is Paramatma. That is a pratigna proposition. Then, what say Hetu Kasmat? On what basis do you say that? Sam prasadat, adi upadesha, the fifth case. Adi upadesha, sam prasadat is different. That fifth case is not the reason. Some that is only so that is only comparison. Some prasada adhyupadesha. So afterwards, the bhuma is taught as greater than some prasada. So this is important. Whether bhuma that occurs after prana is the same as prana or is it greater than prana? Purupakshi says it is same as prana. Because the with prana, the sequence of question and answer concludes and stops, and that sequence determines the superiority. So there is no chinha, no indication here to determine the superiority of Bhuma. So then you have to now show how Bhuma is superior to prana. So Adhyupadesha, because the instruction about the Bhuma is superiority to the prana. But Sutrakara used the word Samprasada rather than Prana. So Vashyakara first of all has to explain how Samprasada means Prana. By Lakshana Vritti, not by Vachyatha, by Lakshyatha. What is Samprasada? Samprasada is the word used for both Jiva as well as deep sleep. Jive Suptaucha Shakti Kalpanayam Gauravam Shankitva Uktam. If the word samprasada means both of them, it means jiva also as well as deep sleep, then there are too many meanings of the same word. So what is the meaning in this particular application? It says, so samyak prasidati asminiti nirvachanat. So there one becomes fully serene by that nirvachanam, by that nirukti, by that definition. Samprasaya Sushuptam Sthana Muchade. So, by the way, Samprasada is man, the state of deep sleep. Where else do you find that also? Na kevalam niruktya samprasada shabdha stars kintu so prayoga darshanat. So, nirukti means the word samprasada samyak prasidati. This is a way of nirukti. <coughs> By explaining the arrangement of the letters of a word, you know, the explanation is given. Secondly, the Bruhada and Kopanishad also uses the word samprasada in the state of in the, in the meaning of deep sleep. So that's that we saw last time. See, Bruhada and Kopanishad, in fact, uh, Talked about all the three states. Sva Eshaha Etasmin Samprasade Ratva Charitva Dushrayupunyam Japapamcha Punaf Pratinyayam 
ಪ್ರತಿಯೋನಿ ಆದ್ರವದಿ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಏವ ಸಮ ಏಷ ಅದು ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಏತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಸಂಪ್ರಸಾದೆ ರತ್ವಾ ಚರಿತ್ವ ಇನ್ ಬೃಹದಾರಣಿಕ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಹಿ ರಿಜಾಯ್ಸಸ್ ರತ್ವಾ ಚರಿತ್ವ ಡಸ್ ವೆರಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ದುಷ್ಟ ಪುಣ್ಯಂ ಚ ಪಾಪಂ ಚ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾಪ ವರ್ಚು ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಪುನಃ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾಯ ಪ್ರತಿಯೋನಿ ಆದ್ರವತಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಬ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರೂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇವೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಎ ಸಡನ್ ರೂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇ ಗೋಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಇ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಸಡನ್ ರೂಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಸಡನ್ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ from dream again when he goes to deep sleep again he travels along other nerves so deep sleep the state is in the heart the dream is in the throat and the waking is in the eyes let us say so there is a travel in all so he must travel from one place to the other in order to experience this state of dream from there the jiva should travel to the heart to experience the state of deep sleep all these were discussed in the uh, atma purana also so but then when the deep are from deep sleep state it comes back to dream so pratinyayam pratiyoni adravadi in the same way comes back same passage event we comes back to dream swapna eva and whatever he experiences in a deep sleep state he leaves everything in deep sleep state without being affected in any way and comes to the dream state asangayam because as purushari paramatma is asangaha is an unconnected unattached savaye shetasmin swapne ratva charitva again in the dream state also he rejoices he performs to his activities experiences pleasure and pain which are results of punya pava virtue and vice una pratinyayam pratiyoni adravadi buddhanta eva same by the same passage he comes back to the waking state <clears throat> so three states are mentioned samprasada swapna and buddhanta means waking so now when dream and waking states are there natural third state has to be deep sleep so in the bhudanika upanishad also the word sam prasada is used to mean deep sleep so not only word sam prasada means deep sleep by virtue of the nirukti but also because in that sense the word is used in the bhudanika upanishad so bhudanika cha ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಜಾಗಸ್ಥಾನ ಸಹ ಪಾಠ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಂ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಎಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಂ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಮೀನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಮೀನ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ತಂ ಚ ಸಂ ಪ್ರಸಾದವಸ್ಥಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಜಾಗೃತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೋಪನಿ ಸೇಜ್ ದಟ್ the seed of deep sleep also the prana is awake prana atra samprasad abhipreyate <laughs> so prana is connected with the deep sleep state shakya sambandha the lakshyartha the implied meaning must be something connected to the literal meaning so literal in the word samprasada is deep sleep that doesn't work here so to go for the implied meaning or the lakshyaasa and prana who is awake in the deep sleep state the deep sleep state which is predominated by prana so prana is connected to deep sleep state therefore by lakshana vrutti the word sam prasada should mean prana and so then pranad urdvam bhumna upadishyamanatva samprasadat adi upadeshat 
So Bhuma is taught as superior to Samprasada or Prana. Prana eva chet bhuma sya. E bhuma is same as prana. Tasmat urdu upadishchadan prana ke no superior to prana. Like Vasega nai nama eva supnan ha bhuyaiti. You cannot say nama is superior to nama. One fellow is superior to oneself. It cannot be. The one who is superior is necessarily different. One who is superior is necessarily different. Anni Devata Dvita Atho Aviditā Adhi Superior to and different from the Aviditā. So here also Bhūma that is taught after the Prāṇā has to be different from Prāṇā, cannot be same as Prāṇā because one cannot be superior to oneself. Therefore, dhamna anyat arthan, just as in each sequence, the vāk is taught after nāma, so vāk is different from nāma. Supita is one thing, but different definitely. So that which is supita to other is also different from the other. So vāk is superior to nāma, so vāk is never different from nāma. Mana is superior to vāk, so mana is different from vāk. <coughs> and so also, bhūma is taught as Superior to prana, therefore, bhuma is different from prana. Vaga <coughs> dibhyopi a pranat arthantrameva tatta tatta urdhu upadishtam. So, this Siddhanti says that what follows is superior to what precedes, which is the sequence here. That speech followed the nama, so speech is superior to nama, and so on. And Bhuma follows Prana, therefore Bhuma is superior to Prana. This is one reason why Bhuma is different from Prana, because it is superior to Prana. <coughs> so Puropakshi says, how do you say that Bhuma is superior to Prana? Upanishad doesn't say that. No, no, yeah, nasti prashna, asti bhagava, prana bhuyayati. Look, we told you, that the criterion for determining superiority is this Bhuya Prashna Prativachanam. The question and answer about superiority is what determines superiority. Ye nasti prashna asti bhagava prana But here we don't find a question, O oh, Venerable Sir, is there something greater than prana? Navi Prativachanam asti. Now, suppose the question is not there. Suppose the reply is there. Suppose say Narada is not asked question. If Sanat Kona replied, then also he is but no, we don't have Prativachanam also. Prana Vav Bhuyasti That Prativachanam also is not there. Katam Prana Adi Bhuma Upadishyati Di Uchyati. So, Purupakshi says, on what ground do you say that Bhuma is taught as superior to Prana? That criterion for determining superiority is Bhuya Prashna Prativachanam, which is not seen here. So, on what basis do you say that Bhuma is superior to Prana? They were different from Prana. Number one. Secondly, we told you Prana Vishayamacha Ativaditam Uttaratran Kushyamanam Pashyama. So, therefore, you were told here that evam vijanan ativadi bhavati in case of prana, yesitava ativadi bhavati, yes satyena ativadati. So ativaditvam in prana and ativaditvam is satyam is the same. And satyam alone is bhuma through the sequence. Therefore, we told you that ativaditvam is mentioned in both the cases, so it's the same. Therefore, Bhuma and Prana, Prana and Bhuma must be the same. Tasman, Nasti Prana, Adi Upadeshaiti. So, again, Purupakshi says that we do not see how Prana, the Bhuma, is superior to Prana. So, on what basis do you say 
that Bhuma is superior to Prana. Atra Uchade Natta Natta Avat Prana Visha Seva Adivadita Seda Anukarshani Shakyam Vaktam. So now Uvivadandi says that look, the Adivaditva mentioned in case of Satyam cannot be same as Adivaditva mentioned in case of Prana. We are assuming that the Adivaditva is the same. We say that Adivaditva in case of Satyam is different from Adivaditva in case of Prana. <coughs> Katham? How? Visheshavadat. Because there is a specific man, the next Adivaditvam is specified. First Adivaditvam is what? So, evam vijanan ativadi bhavati. By knowing prana, one becomes ativadi. The second ativadi is qualified. He is satyena ativadati. He is called ativadi who becomes ativadi by virtue of knowledge of satyam. So then this Ativaditvam is specified. Early Ativaditvam was described as Ativaditvam that comes by knowledge of Prana. This one says Ativaditvam by virtue of knowledge of Satyam. Yes, it is, therefore, this Ativaditvam is different, is not the same. Then, so the Pura Pakshi says, says, now we, we are on the page 214 and we continue from there now. <coughs> the seventh line from the bottom in the Vashya, you can see how cleverly the arguments are going on here. And the thing is, how, I mean, how the mind works, from where do the arguments come? And how each one is trying to establish his own position here. So now Puru Vedandin said that Adivaditvam in case of Prana was qualified by the knowledge of Prana. Ivam Vijanan Ativadi Bhavati. The second Adivaditvam is qualified by the virtue of knowledge of Satyam. Therefore, the two Ativaditvam are different because there is a Vishesha, a specific mention. So Puru Pakshi said just because there is specific mention does not mean it is different. So then that is how the Puru Pakshi continues. Nanuiti. <coughs> if you look at the Ratna Brava, the fourth line Satyena Ativaditvam Visheshaha. So Vishesha Vadat. The, the Siddhanya said because of the Vishesha, because of the specific mention. What is specific mention? Satyena Ativaditvam Visheshaha. This Ativaditvam is qualified by Satyam. So that is his specific qualification. Tadvataha ya esha idya vukte no purvanu karsha ityartaha esha tuva ativadati ya satyena ativadati. So esha tuva ya satyena ativadati. Tadvataha, the one who possesses the ativaditvam, ya esha idya vukte. The thing is, no, if you look at the Upanishad, Esha tuva ativadati, yaha satyena ativadati. Esha and yaha, both of these are pronouns. So what do they refer to? Usually pronoun refers to the subject matter and discussion. So prana is what just preceded. So prana is the subject matter of discussion. So therefore this pronoun should also refer to that only. But Siddhani says the pronoun does not refer to prana, it refers to the ativadi. So tadvataha ya eshaha iti ukte. So one who possesses ativaditvam by virtue of knowledge of satyam is referred to eshaha yaha, the one who. 
न पूर्वाकर्ष है सो सिद्धांत प्रूव दैट अतिवादित्व सेकेंड अतिवादित्व इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अतिवादित्व Then only the second one, Bhuma or Satyam, is different from Prana, and Satyam is same as Bhuma. Ye esha Prana vid Atiwadi di Anudya. So then, Puru Pakshi very cleverly says, "No, it it can be different." So ye esha Prana vid Atiwadati iti Anudya. So Satyam vid Vidhana. So, Ativari Bhavati is a statement of fact. It says, no, no, this is not a statement of fact. So, Ativadet, instead of Ativadati, you know, he says, Ativadet, is Satyena Ativadet. One should speak truth, meaning one who is, who knows the prana and becomes Ativadi. That Adivadi, by virtue of knowledge of prana, should speak truth. This is what the second sentence is. Esha, Esha refers to prana vid. Yeah, Esha, this fellow who is prana vid, the knower of prana. Ativadati, iti anudya. So this yeah, Esha is anuvada. Is referring to yeah, prana vid ativadati. The prana, the knower of prana, who is ativadi, is referred to by this word esha. Sa satyam vedet. That ativadi also should speak truth. Iti vidhana. So this is not simply a statement of fact. It is vidhana, or it is an enjoyment. It is an injunction. Na prana prakarna vichyeda hai ti. Therefore, this one. That the same topic continues, not the topic changes. The thing is, when the same topic continues, a topic changes. Puro Pakshi says, same topic continues. Prana and Satyam are the one. Siddhanti says, the topic changes. So, if there is Anukarsha, same thing is referred to, topic does not change. Therefore, Ativadi is the same, then topic does not change. Ativadi is different, then topic changes. So when we say that look, these two ativaditva are different. One is ativaditva by virtue of knowledge of prana. Second ativaditva is by virtue of knowledge of satyam. So there were two ativaditva are different. There were the topic is different. It says no, no. The second ativaditva is not qualified by these the knowledge of truth. Same ativadi say to speak truth. This is vidhi. Or this is an in, in, injunction. There was no prana prakarna vichyadayati. Therefore, there is no change of topic. It is drishtantena. So the Puru Pakshi provides a drishtanta illustration as to how in a similar situation the topic does not change. So, none of them. So, let us read now the Bhashya. Nanu. विशेषवादोपि अयम् प्राण विषय एवं भविष्य दे सिस नो वेट एक मिनट विशेषवादोपि अयम् दैट फुल स्टॉप शुड नॉट बी देयर प्राण विषय एवं भविष्य दे दिस विशेषवाद है दिस स्पेसिफिक मेंशन एवं सत्यम आल्सो प्राण विषय शुड आल्सो रिफर टू द प्राण आलोन that Visheshata of Ativaditvam does not refer to Satyam, it refers to Prana only. <clears throat> so we say Satyasya Pradhanatvat Visheshavadasya Tad Vishetvameva See this, Yeshatova Ativadati, yeah, Satyan Ativadati. Then Satyam is the main thing. So says Satyasya Pradhanatva. In that statement, Satyam is the Pradhanam or the predominant one, the primary primary topic. Therefore, 
Ativaditvam should refer to that and not to prana. So we say, Katham. How do you say that? Ativaditvam is different? Okay, then. <clears throat> Then Purupakshi says, Yatha Eshaha Agnihotri Yasatyam Vadati Idiyukte Nasatya Vadane Na Agnihotri Tvam Kenatarhi Agnihotri Na Eva Satya Vadanam Tu Agnihotri Na Vishesha Uchyade. So, example from the day to day conversation. Yatha Esha Agnihotri, yes, Satyam Vadati. Esha, this fellow is Agnihotri. Yes, Satyam Vadati. One speaks. So, he's Agnihotri. This Agnihotri speaks truth. So, he's called Agnihotri, speaks truth. So when somebody says that, he becomes, does not be Agnihotri because he speaks truth. He is Agnihotri, then what? Kendra Agnihotri Naeva. This one is Agnihotri, see, this, he is an Agnihotri who speaks truth. So, is he called Agnihotri because he speaks truth? Is No. He is Agnihotri because he performs Agnihotra. Similarly also, Ativadi is not because he speaks truth. Ativadi is because of knowledge of prana and then additionally speaks truth. He also is Agnihotri by performs Agnihotra and additionally he speaks truth. Na Satya Vadayana Ativaditvam. So, in the Agnihotra he is called Agnihotra because Agnihotra. Satya Vadanam do Agni Hotra Vishesha Iti Uchade. When he speaks truth, he is a specific quality characteristic that this fellow has, this Agni Hotri has. <coughs> Similarly, continues Tatha Eshatuva Ativadati Yasatyen Ativadati Iti Ukte Na Satya Vadane Na Ativaritvam See, you can see the construction of sentence. Esha Agni Hotri Ya Satyam Vadati Here also, Esha Tuva Ativadati Ya Satyena Ativadati Similarly, the sentence here, that this person is Ativadi and he speaks truth. Not that Ativadi is because of speaking truth. Agnihotri is the one, this Agnihotri speaks truth. He does not be Agnihotri by virtue of speaking truth. He is Agnihotri by virtue of performing Agnihotra. And additionally he speaks truth. Similarly also, this one is Ativadi, who is Ativadi, so by virtue of speaking truth. So Satyena Ativadati speaks truth. So he does not become Ativadi because of speaking truth. He is Ativadi and speaking truth. Why is he Ativadi? Because of knowledge of Prana. He is Ativadi. Additionally, he speaks truth. This is how this sentence should be construed. So Ativadi should be interpreted as Ativadi. The Rupanita says that this Prana with the knower of Prana who is Ativadi should speak truth. So says Guru Pakshi. So it is Ute na Satyavadena Ativaditam. Ativadi is not by virtue of speaking truth. Ativadi by virtue of knowing prana is already Ativadi. <coughs> then why is he called the Vasasen? Vasya says, Kenatarhe. Okay. So this Ativaditam is not because of speaking truth. Then Ativadi is because of what? Prakrutena. Prana Vijnana Eva. Eva. It is by virtue of the knowledge of Prana. Prakrutena, that is under discussion. 
The thing is, there is no change of topic. What is under discussion is prana vijnanam, the knowledge or realization of prana. And therefore, his ativadi always said. So, evam vijanan ativadi bhavati. Ativadi was described as the one who knows prana. And additionally, he also speaks truth. Ativadi not because of speaking truth, he is Ativadi because of the knowledge of prana. Agnihotri not because of speaking in truth. Agnihotri is because he is performs Agnihotra and additionally speaks truth. So, so is Ativadi not because of speaking truth. He is Ativadi because of knowledge of prana and additionally speaks truth. All possible interpretations are explored here, you know, whether that is possible or not. <clears throat> Says again Bhashya, Satya Vadanam tu Prana Vidaha Visheshaha Vivakshade Ide Satya Vadanam tu, on the other hand, the speaking to this Prana Vidaha Visheshaha. It is Visheshaha, an additional correct qualification, additional specification for Prana Vid, for the knower of Prana. So this is a discontinuation of the same person who is Pranavit or the knower of Prana and not a different topic. So fight is whether topic changes or not. And secondly, whether Bhuma is superior to Prana, two things. Superiority cannot be established because of the absence of the Bhuya of Prasna Pradevacharam. And the separated knot cannot be established because the same topic continues. There is nothing to distinguish that there is a change of topic. So we have to prove that there is a change of topic and superiority both are involved here. So those both the things have to be established. So Satya Shabda as far as Puru Pakshi is concerned, what is Satyam? Satyam is Satya Vachanam. So Satya Shabda, Yathartha Okta Vachi. Who is speaking truth? One who speaks what is the truth. Yathartha, as it is. So Upanishad says Satyena Ativadati. That Satyam is nothing but speaking truth. And this Pranavita is enjoined to speak truth. <clears throat> now we come here. Trutiya Shutya Sadhaka Tamarthaya Satya Vagnyanena Ativaditvan Dravidhanat Prakaranena Shutya Taparitya Asiddhityaha. <clears throat> so now we go to further technical. Shrutiya Shrutiya, Ya Satyena Ativadati. Satyena is the third case of Satya, it's Shrutiya. So Shrutiya Shrutiya, Sadaka Tamartha. Shruti is the highest Pramana of Shruti and Linga and Vakya and Prakarana and Sthana and Samakya. See, the Mimam Sakad established this sequence of six indications to determine the meaning of the word. So of that, so you inter, you connect these two passages either because of Shruti, because directly Shruti says that, or when direct reference is not there, then you go to the second one, it's called Linga by, by Chinha. When that is also not there, then you go by Vakya. That is also not there, you go by Prakaranam. So each one following is inferior to the previous one. The most important is Shruti. So Sadhaka Tamartha. So Shruti is that we establishes the meaning in the most excellent way. Satya Jnanena Ativaditvan Dravidhanat. You know Satyena Ativadati, the third case. Therefore Satya Jnanena is by knowledge of Satyam. Ativaditvantar Vidhanat. Ativaditvam in case of Satyam 
इस डिफनो अतिवादित इन केस ऑफ प्राण अतिवादित अतिवादित्व सत्य So, Atiwaditvam is described here as Satyena Atiwaditvam by virtue of Satyam. So, you cannot ignore that and say that the context is important here. The same topic is continued. No. The Shruti says Atiwaditvam is specified by Shruti as Satyena Atiwaditvam. So, that's the Atiwaditvam virtue of knowledge of Satyam. So, then Siddhanti says, सत्यम So when the word satya is used, what would the immediate meaning that would occur in your mind? Satya means abhadya rudha. The word satya is commonly used to indicate Brahman, which is non, you know, abhadya, which cannot be non-negatable. So rudha Brahma vachaka. That means the literal meaning of satya is Brahma. That anyasya mitchatva. Because everything other than Brahma is mitya, even other than Satya is mitya. Therefore, Satya means Brahma. Satya vasane tu abhadita samanda lakshmi kaiti. Why do you say Satya is speaking truth? He says we interpret our Satya is speaking truth because speaking truth also in a way involves abhadita. Even speaking truth also is not absolute. Is nobody can speak absolute truth in Vyavahara. Speaking truth cannot be absolute. Never. There is no such thing as absolute truth as far as day-to-day -day life is concerned. Everything has always a little element of falsehood. Whatever is created is created. That is mitya. Is limited. Bound by time, space, and condition. So speaking truth also is bound that way by time, space, and condition. Then therefore, what is truth in one situation may not always be truth in every situation. May not be. Speaking truth cannot be the same in every situation, every time, every place. Cannot be because the whole universe is relative. What is is because of something else. So then, when you say this is what it is, you speak truth. But that thing itself is because of something else. It is relative. So you said, I know, I am telling you the truth that this happened. Okay. But then that happening also is only in the realm of Yohana, which is relative. The happening also is relative. There are very certain standpoints. So everything in the universe is a standpoint, and a thing can look differently from a different standpoint. And as Swami used to say, it is taken to a museum of modern art, and the artist was taking it around, and they came and stopped at a, a painting, and then the artist was showing Swami, look at this. Swami could not make out what is this. It's a table, Swami. It's a table. He says, yeah. That's how it looks when you see from underneath, you know. <laughs> so, how many you think this is called table but then thing? That depends on how you look at the thing. So, even when you say I'm speaking to, understand that that also is the point of view. There's always the possibility that from a different standpoint, that very same same thing can be described differently. Always possible. So then, but. 
Generally speaking, speaking truth means the idea of describing something as it is in general. And then where it is generally cannot be denied. In some case it can be denied in some same point. And then where because speaking truth is very close to real truth. The real truth is that which can never be false. Which is not a standpoint. A standpoint is always relative. Satyam, the truth, in absolute, is not a standpoint. A standpoint is that which exists because of something else. Satyam exists on its own. Therefore, it is all standpoints that transcended them when you know the truth. So, truth in the Vyavahara is sort of close to that Satyam. Therefore, a Lakshana Vrti speaking to is called truth. Vachyata, the primary meaning of our Satyam is only Brahman. But because speaking truth is also close to that, therefore, by Lakshana Vrti, not by Vachyata, by implication, in a secondary sense you can say, that Satyam can be interpreted as Satyavachanam, speaking truth. So, Satyavachanam is Abhaditata Sammandhat. Because speaking truth also is essentially non deniable because it is describing things as it is. Lakshanika. So, word Satya is used for speaking truth not in a primary sense. By Lakshana Vakti, by implication. In Ignatra, Lakshavachana Vidhi. In that word, Vidhi cannot be for Lakshana, Vidhi should be for Vachyat. I say, hey, come here. You know, so what Paraswan used to say, you know, bring water. Now, bring water, you bring water. You can't, because what do you mean? When Swan uses water, means what? He means tea, he means coffee. It cannot be. So, when you say do something, you cannot have implication that it means water only should be meant. Otherwise, if by water you mean some lakshyata, then fellow will never get it. Therefore, when you enjoy something, the instruction is there, instruction should be very clear. It should be vachyata, clear meaning and not implied meaning. So, if you say there is satyena ativadati, if then ativade, if this is what you mean, that one should speak to. For what Satya only means Brahman. And Brahman cannot be spoken. So if you want to use and interpret that our Satya is speaking, but you are taking the Lakshana Vrutti of our Satya. But as far as Vidhi is concerned, you cannot have Lakshana Vrutti, there must be only Vachyarta because there will be confusion. Natra Lakshavachana Vidhi. Therefore, he says, Satyena, so Satyam Ativade. If this is what you mean to say, then it cannot be because then Satyam is Brahman and nobody can speak Brahman. So, therefore, this Vidhi cannot be. So, you cannot interpret Satyena Ativadati as Satyam Ativade. You cannot because if it is Vidhi, then word Satya should be literally used. Or when Satya literally means Brahman, <coughs> and they cannot be Vidhi or speaking Brahman. Therefore, this is not Vidhi. <coughs> so, this is very interesting, a uh, very interesting point here. The word Satyam, the Vachyata is Brahman, and Lakshyata is Satya, which you can understand. And for Vidhi, there must be Vachyata, not Lakshyata. <coughs> The word Ativaditta, Ativaditvantar Vidana is not Vidhanam, is not enjoyment with reference to speaking truth, it is enjoyment with reference to other Ativaditvam. Ativaditvam by Satyam is different from Ativaditvam by virtue of knowledge of Pram. Naiti The contention is not right, that's what you have to say. Shutya Samyas Putai, okay. 
What is the meaning of the word Dashruti? Eshatva Ativadati, Yasatin Ativadati. What should be the meaning of the statement of Shruti? Says Shrutyatha Parityaga Prasanga. If you say that, this Ativadikam is the same, and this is enjoyment of speaking truth. Then you are discarding the meaning of the Shruti. So then, Shrutyadam. What is the meaning of Shruti? Shrutyadam. Mahasekar explains. Shrutyai Atra Satyavadalena Apivaritam Padiyade Yas Satyena Ativadade Sa Ativadati Hite Shruttyayatra Satyavadayana Ativaritam Patiyate So if you take the simple meaning of what the opening that says, then Eshatuva Ativadati Yaha Satyana Ativadati is explained as what? Yaha Satyana Ativadati Saha Ativadati See that Eshatuva Ativadati Yaha Satyana Ativadati means what? Yaha satyena ativadati, esha sah ativadati, one who is ativadati by virtue of truth, he is ativadati. So ativadati was defined there. In that sentence, Shruti defines what is ativadati, satyena. So the third case is that, <coughs> yes satyena ativadati, sah ativadati. That's what the meaning of that statement is. That's what is called Ativadi, who speaks truth, who, who is Ativadi, by virtue of knowledge of Satyam. Kakari Pranavijnana Saprasakti. Alright, then where is the place for the knowledge of Prana? So says, or, Natra Prana Vijnanasya Sankirtanam Asti There is no Sankirtan. There is no statement of describing the Prana Vijnanam. This Satyavaritvam by the Vijnanam Satyam and not by the Vijnanam of Prana. <coughs> so Bhasyakara says this is a statement which in fact gives definition of Adivaditva. Yes, Satyena Adivadati, Sahadivadati. That is a reference. This is not a reference to Prana. It is a different Adivaditva and that is by virtue of the knowledge of Satya. This is what the Shruti means. <laughs> okay, now comes. Then when we question of them, where does the prana knowledge stay? Does come? Or if you go to Ratna Brava, Kinti Satyena, Brahmana, Adivadriti, Tutti Shrutya, Brahma Karnakam, Adivaritam, Shutam, same thing. Kinti Satyena means what? Brahmana, Adivadati. He becomes Adivadi by virtue of Brahma. The Tutti Shrutya, Brahma Karanakam Adivaditam Shudam. This Adivaditva means Brahma Karanakam. Adivaditva means brought about by knowledge of Brahma. This Pradhanat Bhadana Yukta. So Shruti defines clearly. You see, what is Shruti means that which does not leave room for any other interpretation, which gives a clear, it's a clear statement. Tattva Masi. There is no other interpretation possible. You know, so, Satyena Adivadati, Sahadivadati. So, one is called Adivadi, that knows, that becomes Adivadi by virtue of Satyam is Brahman, by knowledge of Brahman. And therefore, Tatra Prakana Bhadana Yukta, you cannot say that the topic does not change, and therefore the same Adivadi comes is there. This is different Adivadi as described by the Shruti. So now Shruti is there, Prakr what is Prakrana? Prakrana is the topic of the context. The context is Prana. So by that you can say the Adivadi was same as Prana Adivadi. 
But the Shruti says, Shruti gives the different definition of Rivari from that, but the Prakranam does not apply here. Shruti is stronger than Prakranam. <coughs> Sumashakar said, Prakaranatu Prana Vignan Sudman Jeta Tatra Prakaranatu Rodena Shudhi Barik Chetasya Prakaranatu is true. So, by what you call Pramana Prakaran, by way of the subject matter and discussion, by way of what we call the context, you can say that Ativaritvam, the second one, is the same as first Ativaritvam by Prakranam context. But, so, but Tatra, if you take that as interpretation, then how about the Shruti? Satyena Ativadati. So, he said that, that. So, Shruti says that different Ativaritvam, so you will have discarded the Shruti in favor of Prakranam. So, Shruti also is Pramana, Prakranam also is Pramana. So, Shruti is the stronger Pramana. And so, by weak, by weak Pramana, you cannot discard the stronger Pramana. The stronger Pramana always discard the weak Pramana. <coughs> so, there was like I said, Shruti Artha Parityaga Prasanta. If we interpret it that Ativaritva, in the second case, the same as first Ativaritva, then you are discarding the meaning of Shruti, which gives definition of Adivaritvam. That is, by virtue of knowledge of Satyam, therefore, it is Adivaritvam, meaning that it is different Adivaritvam, it is there by definition of Shruti. Okay, we will continue. Like this, uh, because only this is all technicalities. 